Welcome back to the Jameson Brandon channel where we talk about all things money. Today, we're going to cover China's digital currency or the China digital yuan. And so if you're interested in this, if you want to get a big fat update, then stay tuned to the end of the video. We've got some really great stuff to share with you. Let's dive right in. So first off, this is just through J uh, July, essentially what, what we've got is we've got a new white paper that was released. I'll show you that. We've got their trial um, expanding to 10 million eligible users. There's a total of 21 million users with some sort of a digital wallet in China. So this is pretty good. They're almost at like 50%, um, which is really, really good news for them. July 8th, that was uh, published. And then on July 16th, we have uh, their trial has reached $5.3 billion in transactions, which is you know nothing to scuff at. That's really, really good. Here is the latest. I will link this below. It's a 16 page report talking about the ECNY and its development. So let's take a trip back down memory lane here because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people don't realize this is that they started researching this and started this whole project in 2014 when they saw the success of Alibaba and Tencent and other companies and brands like that. They decided, hey, we want to get in on the game too. And obviously they saw at that point that um, you know, digital currencies could be a thing, which is pretty good foresight. Keep in mind though that let's call it one of the biggest superpowers in the world, China, who does develop really fast, whether you like it or not. They build cities really fast, uh, whether they you know last a long time or anything like that is to or remain to be seen rather. But you can't deny that they develop really, really fast. So for them to have taken seven years so far for this to be rolled out, it does make me worry about how long it's going to take somewhere like the United States who is worried about like very interesting metrics. Like for example, the US is worried about the 7% of Americans that say they don't use the internet or the 9% for black Americans that don't use the internet. 25% of Americans over the age of 65 don't use the internet. It's stronger with those with disabilities to state that they never go online. So if we're gonna cater to and try and just think exclusively of those people, whether or not that's like a yes or no to formulate a digital currency, I think that puts you really behind the eight ball, really behind the curve because uh, education is obviously needed to increase you know, usage of something like the internet, which is kind of crazy to anyone outside of those age brackets and those uh, you know that has a disability to be talking about the internet like that because it's so integrated with our everyday life. But nonetheless, is I think the US is definitely fighting an uphill battle with their digital currency and they're what it appears to be six or more years behind. Trials of the digital yuan began in May of 2020 in four cities. I'll just put those on the screen, not even gonna try and pronounce them. Um, some of them were near Beijing, so we're talking about like, you know, not obscure cities, but near the, the heart of the country. Okay, some of the brands that were included were Starbucks, McDonald's, Subway. Under the trial, Communist Party members were allowed to pay their membership fees through one of the banks. The digital yuan was used to pay half of travel subsidies cities owed to public servants. Chinese ride hailing giant uh, Didi, I uh, won't even try and pronounce that, said in July 2020 that it had entered into a strategic partnership with the central bank over the digital currency plan. The Bank of China, China uh, Construction Bank and the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China and the Architectural Bank of China also said in August 2020 that they were working with the digital yuan with the central bank in major cities, including Shenzhen. Those are like really the biggest banks in China. In October of 2020, more than 47,000 consumers uh, in the uh, Luhao or Luhu district of Shenzhen spent 8.8 .8 million yuan or $1.3 million during a week-long trial of China's digital currency. A total of 1.9 million applicants had applied for 50,000 digital red packets, each containing 200 yuan, roughly $30, with 62,000 transactions taking place overall. In December 2020, the municipal government of Shuzhou province also gave away 20 million yuan to residents to test the uh, digital currency, which is commonly referred to as, uh, you know, now it's the ECNY or EYUAN. The second trial took place in Shenzhen in January of 2021, involving 20 million yuan. In April of 2021, the PBOC and the Hong Kong Monetary Authority began technical testing for cross-border use of the digital yuan. The financial hub of Shanghai, province in the far south, the central cities of, not going to try and pronounce, and the port cities of, again, not going to try and pronounce, this will be on the screen, were also added to the pilot program and the sovereign digital yuan. International collaboration has also been accelerated between China's central bank and its counterparts in Thailand and uh, the UAE. In April 2021, uh, Macau chief executive Ho Ait Seng told lawmakers that the government planned to amend laws to regulate the issuance of virtual legal tender. Macau is seeking to better combat money laundering and tax evasion in the world's biggest gambling hub, obviously, and so they are studying feasibility right now. In April 2021, the new deputy governor of the PBOC confirmed that moving forward, we don't have a timeline for rolling out the digital currency nationwide. But we know what we need to do. There are several things we need to do before we can roll out the digital currency nationally. 
Okay, so currently there's only 23% of retail projects that have reached the implementation stage. Nearly 70% of wholesale projects are running pilot programs at this time. And remember, the BIS uh, recently said that 86% of central governments and, or central banks that they've talked to is in the research phase or uh, you know some sort of phase of a digital currency for their country. At the end of May 2021, the senior central bank official proposed establishing a controlled environment known as the regulatory sandbox to test China's digital yuan and push greater capital uh, account convertibility between Shenzhen and Hong Kong, stating, we can explore allowing market entities with strong cross-border financial demand and risk control capability to use digital Rambini in the convertibility pilot. This is smart. A sandbox is usually what you always do in development. Okay, and then that basically catches us up, and now the most recent news is that uh, they've transacted 5.3 billion in transactions. Now, the thing to keep in mind here, and really I guess the big scare for America's dominancy, if you care about that sort of thing, is that once this is all launched, they're going to take this online and they're going to really use it with their shipping partners and their uh, import export. And I think that's when things are really, really going to take off. So if there's any scare of like the U.S. losing its dominance, it's because it'll be so easy for businesses and countries that already do business with China to now convert to this digital platform all done for the most part online easier to track you know and so a lot of the issues and red tape that they have to deal with with just clearing payments and getting cross-border payments done i see that as being really one of the big bullets in in the gun on that one and so that's something that we'll have to pay attention to but that's pretty much it i'll give you a link to all the uh, documentation underneath you can check it out for yourself let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you like this sort of thing go ahead and hit the like button it'll help this video circulate and we can grow the uh, subscriber base here and uh, obviously you'd be helping out a friend and sharing something that you think they would like. If you're brand new here and you like this, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification, be on the lookout, more videos coming soon.